All right, so I'm headed out uh, to, to uh, check out some more areas of where I might want to be at for that eclipse that's coming up in August. So I've got a location that I've that I've picked out again. I looked at it on Google Earth. I think it has good potential. So I'm heading out there right now, and we're going to go check it out. All right, so I just pulled in to where I think I'm gonna camp for tonight. Um, it's a pretty windy day and it's been kind of sprinkling and raining on and off. So uh, I've got some cover, a little bit of cover where I'm at. I'm just kind of below a little bit of a hillside here. It kind of dips down naturally. And then I've got some good, healthy, uh, big trees up above me. So I'm not too worried about anything falling on me. And it's fairly level, and I can see over here that uh, that uh, somebody's had a huge, huge uh, campfire here before. You can see just the monster fire pit here. So, uh, of course, I'll, I'll, I'll probably build something much smaller for myself tonight. But anyhow, I'm going to get my camp set up, and uh, hopefully we will... Uh, be able to do a little hiking out from this spot a little later in the day. All right, so I'm heading out of here. I'm gonna head back to the truck. Uh, this location is definitely gonna be a good location to be watching the eclipse from. As you can see, you're out on this edge here and you're overlooking uh, southeast. So since the eclipse is gonna be at 10 o'clock in the morning, uh, the sun should be right up in there somewhere. And as you can see, you just got a nice, huge, clear view 
uh, of all this landscape. I wish I would have got out here maybe just about a half hour earlier. I should have planned a little bit more. I just kind of assumed in my head that since the sun was going to be setting, uh, you know, in the west, and I was going to be on this east side of the slope, that I probably wouldn't get a, a good sunset. But man, it was gorgeous, absolutely amazing. I did take a couple of shots, and I'm hoping that one of them uh, will come out for you guys. But I, I definitely am going to come out here just again sometime just to shoot this and take a little bit more time to uh, find a composition. But man, absolutely amazing tonight. Absolutely amazing. All right, it started to rain a little bit out there, and you probably can kind of hear it raining a little bit, uh, the rain hitting the tent. It's not raining real hard, but uh, I figured I kind of wanted to try to get up early. I'm really hoping that uh, we'll get a cool sunrise. I think that location I was at earlier will be could be pretty awesome in the morning, so I'm just kind of hoping that the clouds break just enough to give uh, some some light through and, and get a good sunrise. But anyways, I'm just uh, starting to get ready for bed, or I am ready for bed, I guess. Uh, the dogs are in here. You can see Wheeler and Daisy. Anyways, um, we're just gonna hit the sack and uh, we'll try to get up and get hiked out onto that onto that uh, canyon edge before uh, sunrise tomorrow. So I've gotten at myself out here a little ways. Again, I'm kind of running a little bit late, uh, about a half hour. I kind of misjudged. I thought maybe if I got up at five, that that would give me plenty of time to get out here. Uh, but realistically, I should have been up a, a minimum of a half hour earlier uh, to get, to really catch the, uh, how brilliant uh, the sunrise was. But so what I decided to do as I was walking out uh, in the tree cover here, there's all these really brilliant uh, wildflowers, uh, purple flowers and yellow flowers. And so I decided what I would do is uh, get a shot as the sun was just coming through the trees and uh, kind of lighting up, lighting up these flowers. And so I'm just, just uh, kind of waiting. The sun's just a little bit behind the cloud right now. And uh, once it kind of peeks through, I'm hoping to be able to get the shot that I'm after. All 
Okay, I think that pretty well does it. I'm gonna head back to the truck and get some coffee and breakfast going. Well, I've just been sitting here drinking some coffee and enjoying the fire. It's been a pretty pleasant morning. Uh, it's been nice, it's stayed fairly clear above where I'm at, but I can kind of look all around me and see that uh, there are clouds uh, around. And so I am gonna probably start to pack up the tent here pretty soon. I've just been waiting for the morning dew to kind of uh, dry off of it and what little wet it got last night from rain and uh, head back because I've got a couple ECS's that I have promised to get out by the first of the week so I need to get them uh, finished off but I do think that this is going to be a good place um, I mean I'm not saying that this is where I will be but uh, definitely feel like it's going to be on the short list of places that I um, try to camp at during the eclipse I, I really like how open it is to the southeast and I think that way it'll get, I'll get a good shot. I'm gonna try, my goal for the eclipse is to shoot a time lapse of the eclipse. So I really want to have a good open uh, sh uh, view of the southeast, but I also want, you know, so hopefully some interesting landscape so that I can hopefully catch the, the, you know, the sun, the moon coming across the sun but also have add a little depth to the shot with having an interesting uh, landscape below. So this place ha definitely has, kind of ticks all those boxes. So uh, it's, def it's, it's on the short list. But like I said, I'm just gonna kind of continue to kind of research out uh, different places and, and uh, check out a few more before it, uh, you know, it gets here in August. So, but anyhow, like I said, I'm going to kind of start packing this gig up and I'll see you guys again outside. I really want to thank you for watching this video. Please take the time to like, comment, and share, as your interaction really motivates me to continue to produce this type of content. If you'd like to become a sponsor of the channel, click the Patreon link in the description to find out how.